Today in its 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek, we're going to review and install the DrawType Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76084. This is what the DrawType Hitch looks like when it's installed on your Subaru. Yes, you can see the entire hitch, but it does fit as close as possible to the bottom of the bumper. Let's go ahead and cover our details. First off, we have a 2x2 two two inch opening right here, which will cover all your Class 3 towing and accessory needs. All right, now we'll look at the side of the hitch here. you notice there's two holes. The larger of the two, this is a 5 8 diameter. This uses your hitch pin or your favorite locking hitch pin. The smaller hole here is designed to work with the J-pin stabilization device, which you can use to stabilize anything that goes in your hitch but doesn't have its own anti-rattle device. Next, we'll go ahead and look at the bottom of the hitch here. This plate here also provides place for your safety chain hooks. If you notice to the side here, there's this tab that's welded in place. This is a provision for your electrical needs. You can add two brackets to this, one for a four pole, which would use these two small holes right here that are narrow, and then a seven or a six pole, which would use the two outside holes. Now our body of our hitch has a round tube shape to it, which is really popular, and it's all protected by a powder coat finish. Let's go ahead and cover the weight capacities of hitch. First off, we have a tongue weight of 525 pounds, which pushes down on the hitch. And then we have a pulling weight of 3,500 pounds. Now with this in mind, this is a great hitch to have if you're gonna max out the towing potential of your vehicle, or if you plan using accessories with your hitch, you have the most variety available using a two inch receiver. So you always wanna double check your owner's manual of your vehicle to make sure that your vehicle can handle these kinds of weights. In one other detail, if you're gonna be pulling trailers, this is not intended or designed to be used with weight distribution device. It is only limited to the weights that are stated here. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground, it's going to be about 13 inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper will be about two and a half inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how we installed the hitch. All right, now let's go ahead and cover our install. First off, we do have a lot of room to work with underneath the vehicle, but if you can lift the body off the suspension to give you at least a couple more inches of working room, that'll help you out a lot. Let's go ahead and remove these three plugs here. This is the driver's side frame rail. We'll have to do the same thing over on the passenger side. And let's use some needle nose pliers to grip them and pull them down. Next, we gotta go ahead and make room for our hardware, which would be this carriage bolt and this block, which will be installed inside the frame. Right now, this is a little bit too, uh, the, hole, the access hole is a little bit too small for either one. So what you want to do is go ahead and enlarge this hole. What you can do is use a file. I've got a nice new file here and just make a keyhole slot for it. We'll also double check with the head of a bolt to make sure we can install it. Okay, to, to install our hardware, we'll need to provide a bolt leader. So what's going to happen is this attachment hole here, we'll take our bolt leader, running out this access hole here, which will also be an attachment hole. We'll run this out, take the block, thread it through, push it up into the frame, and then we'll thread on our bolt. Push that into the frame. Pull it out and leave it just like that. Okay, now for our hardware that goes down the hole, it's going towards the front of the vehicle. We're going to do everything on the outside this time. Bolt leader through the block, thread on the bolt, and we'll put this whole assembly into place. Push the bolt in, lock, and then pull it back through. Okay. That'll do it for our driver's side here. We'll do this one more time over on the passenger side. All right, now we're almost ready to put on a hitch. However, this one spacer block right here, which also comes with the kit, needs to be installed between the hitch and the frame, just like that. Now to put it in place, we have a couple options. One, we can simply put a little form in the wire right here, like a little hook, and we can take our block, let it hang just like that. And our second option is put our block over the hole, and then tape it into place. Just leave it loose enough so you can make adjustments as necessary when you put it up there. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and seal up our exposed metal with some spray paint. You could also use some uh, undercoat as well. Now we only need to do this on the holes that we actually had to make bigger. So we only need to do this on one on each side of the vehicle. Okay, now at this point, let's get an extra set of hands and we'll go ahead and put it into place. We'll take our bolt leaders, We'll match them up to the hitch. 
we'll run them through the holes. We have it in place, we'll go ahead and take the bolt leader, we'll go ahead and remove it, then we'll install a conical tooth washer, make sure your teeth in the washer, face towards the hitch, and then we'll install the nut. And if you can, push the hitch to one side or the other to trap the bolt so that it keeps it from spinning and you can throw it on the nut. Go ahead and repeat the same process for remaining hardware. Now, if all our hardware installed, but the hitch is still loose, we'll go ahead and move it around and center the hitch up with the center of the bumper. Generally, I like to pull it straight back and then make adjustments as needed. All right, now we'll go ahead and tighten down all the hardware using an 1116 socket. Now, one detail on our passenger side, due to the way the hitch is made, You'll want to have a swivel on the end of your socket here to get up to it so you have a straight shot on the hardware. Then you can go ahead and tighten it down. Next we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down as described in the instructions. Alright, now I'll finish it for a draw type max frame trailer hitch receiver, part number 76084 on this 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek.